before you know it, you're at the other end of the country. Which is huge. Watch that needle go. It is insane. Up if you're watching. Holy moly, this is insane. What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this very special POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we've got an old friend here. Well, uh, maybe a bit more like a brother of an old friend because six months ago we drove an Audi RS6 by Klaassen Motors with around a thousand horsepower. Uh, click up here if you haven't seen it, if you are one of the few people who haven't seen it. Uh, that video got, well, it's now at 1.6 million views and people really seemed to like it. And, well, a couple of days ago we got a message from someone with an RS6 by Glass and Motors and he asked us if we wanted to drive it. Well, of course we do, because this has 1012 horsepower, which is ridiculous. Um, it is also very black, it has forged Vossen wheels, carbon ceramic brakes, which are absolutely massive. They are really, really big. Uh, these wheels are actually made from one piece of aluminium, which is really cool. Carbon fiber mirrors, blacked out windows, uh, carbon fiber diffuser with an Akrapovic exhaust, carbon fiber spoiler. Man, this thing looks mean. Mean as hell. Yeah, this is one insane car. And as you can see, it is very low. I mean, <laughs> I can't really get anything in between here, which is insane. 21 inch wheels. Um, these tires are more like a cover than a tire. They are so, so skinny. But it also has a KW HLS suspension kit, uh, which obviously lowers it, but it's hydraulic. So it has a hydraulic lift system, HLS, hydraulic lift system. So it can be raised but it lowers again at higher speeds and it is perfect. It is one of the best sort of suspension chassis feels I've ever had. It is magnificent. And you wouldn't say that looking at it. I mean, look at this. It's insane. It's, it's like a, a couple of millimeters. Oh man, I, I don't understand how that works because it's actually quite comfortable. Let's take a look under there, which is where the magic happens, obviously. There it is. Um, I'll do a quick recap of what happens underneath here. They had to cut a hole in this panel to give room for, to make room for the turbo, which is huge. There it is. So it's a single turbo conversion kit with a Garrett GTX 42 turbo, uh, which is the same as last time, but this turbo has been modified. So the insides of the turbo have been modified to give it even more boost or whatever. It's even crazier. And this is a cooling unit. We've got a bigger water pump and uh, exhaust manifold also made by Klaassen Motors. And it also has a water methanol injection system uh, which cools the inlet and in turn makes sure that you can use the power better or use the engine better but it also means that you get a bit more horsepower because the air is cooler going in and that water methanol tank I'll show you is back here so there it is it's about 30 liters I believe does that seem correct I don't know but this is it and something else cool to show you guys if I can get it yep is this uh, number of auto built sports cars October 2018 with there it is this car versus the Apt RS6 um, E, 
So the electric RS6 or hybrid RS6. Uh, so they pitted it against this one. There it is. And we've got some technical data and some test figures from Autobuild. So it did zero to 100 in 3.4 seconds, but it's actually quicker, around three seconds to 100 kilometers an hour. But after that, it gets really insane. Zero to 200 kilometers an hour, so that's zero to 125 miles an hour, 8.7 seconds. Zero to 300 kilometers an hour, or 186 miles an hour, 19.5, but it can actually do it quicker, around 18 seconds to 300 kilometers an hour, which is insane. Uh, so the GTX 42 Turbo Garrett is at around 2.2 bar right now. And, well, I thought it was just cool to show you that it actually was. And it's actually quicker than this one, but we still want to drive this one. So opt. If you're watching, please give us this one because it is insane as well. All right. So get in. And well, again, uh, we had this the last time, but there's a little boost controller right here. Diagnostics. And we'll start it up. Sorry, horses. So there's a. Why is it doesn't stop beeping? Oh, because of the door. Okay. So this is a boost controller. We can use these buttons. So it's off right now, which means um, it has around 700 horsepower. And we can go for boost low, which means 780 horsepower. Boost high, 800 horsepower, or boost race, uh, 1,012 horsepower. Totally mental. So let's see how totally mental it really is. Because, because that last one, that blue R6 was insane already. And this is supposed to be a bit more insane because that blue one delivered its power a bit earlier uh, at around three and a half, four thousand RPM. Whereas this one does it a bit later, but it's a bit firmer. All right, well, uh, let's go for a third gear pull. Here we go. Yeah, there it is. Oh man. So around 5,000 RPM little traction control light flickering as well. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> this is insane. Um, we're going to drive it on this road, but it's honestly, it's too small, this road. We're going to the Autobahn right now, because that is where we can really unleash it. But this is insane. It is so violent. It is. It is. It really is. These cars really are like nothing else. The experience is is so violent. Is so intense. And that is because it is a single turbo conversion. Because you get that power all at once. There it is. And it just keeps pulling. So when you launch it from a standstill, first it sort of goes it's not that interesting but then suddenly everything changes all right bit of sound oh. those bangs are really loud as well but this this suspension kit is insanely good we've got it on the individual setting and we have set everything to dynamic, so the most sporty setting, except for the dampers, they are in comfort mode. And that means that it's totally drivable. It is, it's not too hard. You can really push it on the Autobahn, 300 plus, no problem. I mean, when you look at this thing from the outside, when the owner of this car 
came up to us with his car, we thought, okay, this is going to be difficult because it is so low with those huge Vossen wheels. How are we going to do this? But it just works. I don't know how KW made this. It is it's seriously magic. I don't understand how a car can handle like this while it is so low. But okay, we're at the Autobahn. And well, we're going to see if we've got a little bit of space. Not that you need a lot of space, but we need enough. All right, get ready. I am getting ready as well. Trying to focus. Oh, it's a bit busy. Oh, there's nothing behind me. Okay, I'm going to let that car pass. And then about now I'm going to give it full throttle. Here we go. Okay, so watch that needle go. It is insane. How easily this car does this. That was already al almost 300 kilometers an hour. I mean, are you kidding me? It's so weird. You have to reset your entire mind to be able to cope with this. Because before you know it, you're at the other end of the country. Explosive oh, from 180 kilometers an hour. It's like you're standing still. Man, 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 man. That's 330. Holy moly. Holy moly. This is insane. I've driven it before, but. I mean, six months, and you remember how insane it is, but it's, oh, nothing can, nothing compares. Do you know that song? Nothing compares to you. It's ridiculous. insane just when you when you start when you when it gets off the line it just nothing happens and then all hell breaks loose it's like a like a nuclear explosion it is totally insane what a car what a day I mean this is perfect for this kind of car nice and sunny but still you know not too hot it was like 16 degrees this morning 15 which is perfect for a car that's this heavily turbocharged the intake temperature is not that hot and the tarmac is still hot enough to have a little grip it is truly magnificent this car i'm i'm not exaggerating if i say that i believe this is the best car we've ever driven i mean you can do anything with this car the owner brings his kids to school in this car and then when he gets some proper space on the autobahn he just floors it and annihilates anything i mean there are very few cars in the world that can keep up with this one and the fact that it's a station wagon just makes it that more that much more insane and cool and i love it i'm absolutely in love and i'm a bit sad as well because the the greediness the the want is very very big with this one and well i just want to thank the owner very very much for you know 
giving us his car, having the trust in us to give it. I mean, it's a 1,012 horsepower RS6 and he trusts us enough to just give it to us and lets us do our thing. So big thanks to the owner. Is this his only car? No, he's got some other very cool cars and we're going to make videos with those as well. And big thumbs up to Stefan Glazen for building another masterpiece. That's it for this review, I'm going to end it here. I hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe by clicking the big button right here. You can also check out this video of an R8 supercharged by MTM and you can also check out this POV reviews playlist. Don't forget to follow us on social media and check out our watch at ignitioncollection.com. Thanks guys, see you at the next one, bye.